So welcome to the mask making. We're going to be look, going through a couple of techniques throughout this, but this week we're going to look at what are masks. So masks can be used um, practically and at the moment, as you can see, there's everyone's wearing masks at the moment, all important purposes to protect ourselves and other people. But they can also be used in disguise. Think of your Halloween masks um, and they can be used in performance, on theatre, in plays, in on the screen. They can be used for ceremonial purposes and they're used, some sort of mask is found all over the world. So today we're going to be using paper and the reason why paper is quite exciting is because it's really versatile, you can get it everywhere and it's got so much potential from you know offering it as a little bit of a drawing tool or some, to do some writing on but it's also used by top designers, model makers, architects. So starting with paper now is a really great way to understand how you can transform something from 2D into 3D. So I'm going to show you some pictures and what I want you to look at is how the artist uses different things, how they use texture, how they use patterns, how they use layers, how they create form, shape and their composition. So this is Isa Kazina. Her paper sculptures are completely made from cut and folded paper. So essentially, all you need is paper and a pair of scissors and you can make magnificent designs like these ones. She gets her inspiration by, she goes through um, old archival material and she finds, she goes to like fashion museums and then she copies and like creates her own creative flair. And I just think they're magnificent. So you can see um, these ones, these she's made little rolls and then she's cut little slices in them. Here, this feather technique, she's just drawn a feather and then cut loads and loads and loads of lines to make that shape. Here's another one. Here she's cut out some beautiful patterns. And you can really see how paper just transforms into this absolutely magnificent material. And what you can also do is you can, you can use paper, but once you have your paper um, example, you can then prototype it and you can transform it into like leather, um, fabric and other things. So, and here are examples of her masks. And what I like about her masks is that she's using paper here as a 2D thing. She's not turning it into something 3D. She's very much working with the fact that paper itself is two dimensional. So these are found in some magazines. This is another paper artist, very different style. And that as well is a different paper artist. So really paper can be used in completely different ways. So now on to our, now on to our um, masks. So today we're gonna to be making something a little bit like this. So this is based on a rabbit we're going to do a version of this all together or later on tomorrow when the workshop comes live. So the first thing I did is I drew out a bunny rabbit, a very simple bunny rabbit. And I made it even simpler by doing basic shapes. And it's from this that we're going to do our design. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the background shape, which is here. And this shape is going to be the same shape which is used on most masks to begin with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a ginormous circle, but only half it. You can draw the full thing. I'm then going to draw the position of my eyes. Now the eyes are just two rainbows either side of the face and usually you can go one, two, 
three, four, five, two rainbows. And this is the space for the nose. So for the nose, I'm gonna to go to the, from the top of the eye and draw a straight line down. And now I'm just gonna simply cut out the shape that I've made here. Eyes are slightly more difficult. Give it a bit of a fold and cut out a nice eye shape. Now I'm going to cut out my nose, folding it again and just cutting down a nice straight line. And there we have our basic mask. Already we have a mask shape. So what I'm going to do now, what I'm going to do now is just to shorten up my mask a little bit around here and this will just give it a bit of a nicer shape and it will help us with our bunny rabbit design. So I'm going to cut it just like that. And you have something that ends up looking like this. And as you can see from here, you can then start to do anything you want with it, really. You could do any of those patterns that you can find online or just get some paper and play with yourself. Once you have a basis, you have a mask. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to make my forehead, my ears and my cheeks. That is my next job. So I'm going to do the forehead, the ears, and the cheeks. So my forehead, I'm going to get another bit of paper. And this is my mask. I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to draw something that looks a little bit like my forehead on this bit of paper. So first I'm going to draw around my mask because then I have the template of what it looks like on my bit of paper. I'm going to draw in my eye holes as well. I'm just going to do it in pen so you can see what I've done. So there's my template which I've already cut out. Here are my eyes. But now I'm going to draw a forehead. So I want my forehead to look a little bit like this. And it will become clear why I'm doing a forehead in a moment. But basically, when I put my mask together, I want somewhere to put my ears between. So I'm just creating a separate layer um, so that I can put my ears between. Because can you remember to the slideshow, one of the things I was looking at is layers. I was looking at layers, patterns, textures. So this will just help me with my second layer. I'm going to cut out my forehead now. So now I've got my mask. And I've got my forehead. Now I'm going to go back to my picture. Next I'm going to cut out those big cheeks.
another bit of paper, which I've already folded in half. I put my mask down. Can you see that? I'm going to put my mask down. And the same as we did before, I'm just going to go around this mask so I can tell which I, what I already have. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine and draw my big rabbit cheeks. So I'm going to get a pen so you can see. And I'm going to draw those big rabbit cheeks. Now, I am exaggerating a little bit, but masks you often see them from a distance they're often for theater and they have a lot of character so often to do character you end up exaggerating what you already have so those cheeks very big but they're going to add a lot of character to my bunny rabbit the same as we did before i'm just going to cut them out So we've got our mask, our cheeks, our forehead. Now all we need is our nose and our ears. Is everybody with me at this point? Can we get a thumbs up? Brilliant. Okay, so going to have our bunny rabbit ears and our nose. So for our ears, going to get a long bit of paper, which I've folded in half. The reason why I'm folding everything in half is just so that everything becomes symmetrical when I cut them out. But it doesn't need to be in half, and it doesn't need to be symmetrical, but it's just an easy way of making it. So I'm going to cut out and put in my ears. So I'm just going to draw an ear shape. And now I'm going to cut that out. There we have two bunny rabbit ears. Now the next bit is that nose. So what I'm going to do for the nose is again grab a bit of paper, fold it in half, grab a bit of paper, fold it in half, I'm going to draw onto this my nose and to get the size and shape of my nose that I want first I'm just gonna see what I already have now I want my nose to look a little bit like this I'm going to do a little love heart I want it to come down like that so I'm just going to do that again I'm putting that bit of paper there. And this time I'm going to draw it in pen so that you can see it clearly. That's my nose and I'm going to cut it out.
But there we have a simple shape. But what we want to do now, and this is, this is a bit where I really enjoy this bit, to make it a little bit more 3D, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a bridge for our nose. And this is so that the whole mask isn't flat. And what we're gonna do to do this, we're gonna take our first bit of our mask. Okay, then we're gonna get a bit of paper, which we fold. We're gonna get our mask, and we're gonna put the paper inside the mask and close it up like that, making sure that that bit is where it opens. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna decide what angle we want our nose to be at to make it 3D. So if you imagine this is the side of the face, what angle do I want my nose at? So I think for a bunny rabbit, so you can imagine if you wanted a dog, you could do something that looks a little bit like that. But for a bunny rabbit, I'm gonna do something a little bit more like that. The next thing we're gonna do, once I have my angle, so I'm going to draw a line down here because what we're going to do is we're going to fold along that line. Okay, I'm also going to chop off this extra bit that I don't need because that is going to be where my nose sits eventually. So we don't need this extra bit of material here. We also need to be careful of our eye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw around my eye because we don't want the eye to be closed off. You can open that up. Can everybody see what I've done? Does this make sense to everybody? Could I um, get a thumbs up if this makes sense at this point? Brilliant. So, now we're gonna cut along those lines, get rid of this excess here, fold along here, and chop off some material at the top as well. So I've cut off that extra there. I'm gonna cut along here. Now sometimes that doesn't always work out and sometimes I don't cut enough off. So I'm just gonna have a look to see what it looks like. At the moment, it should look a little bit like that. So now we just need to fold along this line. you've got there, you unfold those bits out, as you have a nose. And what you can do is you then can attach your face to your nose. So that's the first bit I'm going to do. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you that it's starting to look a little bit more 3D. I'm just going to stick this bit down. using a nice healthy bit of glue. Don't want it to come off. Stick down. The 
we've got our mask starting to take shape. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find our cheeks. These were my cheeks that I made earlier. I'm going to attach the cheeks to this. But what we're going to do is I want them to be another layer. I want them to be halfway down my nose. So to do that, I'm going to fold my cheeks into my nose like that. So I've just pushed it down and then I'm going to fold it back up roughly about halfway, but you can decide what you want to do. Can you see what I've done there? So this, which was folded down, I have just gone and folded it up. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. And I'm just going to stick that in place. So I'm going to turn it upside down, get a good amount of glue, and I'm ready to stick my bunny rabbit cheeks onto my nose, like so. And at this point, you can really start to see the mask taking shape. Now, as you can see, we've lost that curve here. You might not have, but on this time I have. So I can just go back into that and refine the shape of my mask. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do I'm going to put in my forehead. To put in my forehead, I'm going to do a small slit here so that this forehead can just slot downwards. I'm going to cut a little triangle. I'm going to stick that in place using some glue. This also gives me my bunny rabbit a little bit of an eyebrow. Next, I'm going to stick my nose onto my bunny rabbit. I think it's this way up actually. And to do that, I'm going to stick it using some tags. So to make some tags, some tags are just a little bit of cardboard. Cut it into some rectangles. And then you can just fold them in half like so. so. I'm going to have four tags in total and one short. Now I'm just going to stick these to my nose. So I'm going to put them on the inside of my nose so that you can't see them. And the way they round they need to be is so either side of the tag is going to stick onto that nose bridge that I've just made earlier. So 
along the fold, I've put a little bit of glue here. And I'm just going to stick my tags. I need, the, I need them a little bit too big. So there I've got my tags. I'm going to do the same again a little bit higher up. And there I have my tags ready to stick in place. To stick them, I'm going to need some glue on there, just on the tags. Now this is ready to put in place. There you go, your bunny rabbit should start to be taking shape. Now, on my bunny rabbit that I've done, I've actually created this little bit of the nose as well. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to do that. What you want to do is you want to cut a semicircle out of a piece of paper. And then with that semicircle, I've just cut down the middle. I've got a semicircle and I've cut a hole in it. And then with that line I've just cut, you can fold it into a cone-like shape. And I'm going to stick it into the cone with some glue. And then I'm going to stick this cone to the nose of my rabbit. Make sure that's all stuck nicely. And there we have it. Our nose to our little bunny rabbit. I'm just gonna let that dry. In the meantime, I'm going to show you a little pattern that I did with the ears. So at the moment, these ears are looking rather plain, but you can come up with loads of interesting ways to make those ears interesting. So I've got a couple of examples of how you can make some interesting ears. So what I've done on this mask is I ended up cutting out using scissors, some sort of feathery technique here. And that was quite fiddly. But nevertheless, it can, it's, it's quite a nice effect once it's done. It's a bit like a zebra. On these ears, I've just drawn some triangles. And they're the ones we're going to do today. But an alternative that you can do, and this is where you can play around with the paper, is you can even make this sort of thing. Now this technique I'm going to show you how to do when we do the eyelashes. 
But for now, we're going to do the triangle technique. And I've just lost my other ear. Is it this one? Yeah. So to do this technique, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my ear in half. I'm just going to draw lines down into the ear and cut along those lines. I have to be careful that I don't go off the other side of the ear. So where I've cut, I'm then going to cut just underneath the little triangle. I'm going to do the same all the way down. Taking away those extra bits. Careful near the end. I don't want to go over the bit of paper. Someone's done it before me. <laughs> There we go. So you've got some interesting ears. You do the same on the other side. Now you've got some nice bunny rabbit ears and you can place these ears in between that gap between the forehead and the face of the rabbit. So here is one that I stuck down earlier. So you want it between the, for the gap in the forehead and the face. In between there and there, you can put your ears. Then you have something like this. And now really what you can do is you can start to add as much detail in your mask to what you want. So what about some nice whiskers along here? What about some nice bushy eyelashes there? Or how about some extra fur here? So in my mask, you can see that I've got some fur. I've got some eyelashes. I've cut some lines on the cheek for some patterns, some texture, and I've got some nice whiskers. So to do the eyelashes, I had a circle like this. I folded it in half. And I cut lines all along here. So I'm just going to show you, but I'm sure you can. So if you just cut all the way along, you end up with something like this. I'm going to cut it in half so I've got an eyelash set for each side. And to make them nice and curly, I got a pencil. And I rolled the eyelashes over the pencil. And you get some really nice curly eyelashes. Now these ones might be a bit too long for my bunny rabbit, but that's okay, I can just cut them down. I wanna stick them in there. I'm just going to cut them down a bit. I'm just going to take away those. I'm going to get my glue and stick my eyelashes along there like that. And there you have a rabbit with some nice big 
eyelashes. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to draw my, put my whiskers on. So to do that, I'm just going to put holes into these cheeks with some glue on the other side and then thread some whiskers. So I'm just going to use a pencil for now. Make some nice holes. Now you can take longer to make these holes and they can come out much better, but for now, I'm just going to show you. So I've pierced a hole here. And with my whiskers, I just cut long, thin bits of paper. And I'm just going to thread these through those holes. So I need to put some glue where these whiskers are going to be. I'm just going to thread my whiskers through those holes, which should stick because there's glue on the other side. And once you've done all three holes, you'll end up with your bunny rabbit that looks like that. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to be able to secure our bunny rabbits to our faces. So to do this, I've attached some string over my head. This paper is quite delicate. I'm not going to put a hole straight through my card. Instead, I'm going to make two more little tags. I'm going to put the string inside the tags so that if anything pulls, can you see? It's going to pull against this tag and it doesn't matter if that breaks because then that's not my mask that's going to break. So this rabbit only has one set of eyelashes at the moment, but instead I'm just going to show you the technique of how to attach string. So I've just got a bit of card, a square bit of card, I'm gonna get some string and then attach it there like that. So I've got some string, I've measured it around my head. My head is that, I've wrapped it around my head and I get that bit of string. I'm gonna give it a little bit extra because I'm gonna tie a knot. I'm going to cut the string in half so that I can tie it up in the middle. So I'm going to put the string with a little bit of gap and then I'm going to get the glue, glue both sides of the tag and then I'm going to glue that tag just above where my eyes are. Now at this point, you wanna know that your, your mask is gonna sit properly on your face. So what I suggest, just before you glue them down, is you hold your mask up to your face and you hold where you want your string to be. Usually it's around the eyes and it pulls against the eyes. So I've done one side. I can do the next side. I'm just going to make 
another tag. I've got my string. And I'm going to do the same again, attaching my string to my mask. making sure they're fairly even and it's where now that's just going to take a little moment to dry so I'm not going to put this mask on just yet I'm going to tie these two bits of string together sorry it's the same string but I'm just going to tie it together so that it doesn't unravel when I put it on Tie your string, you've got one bit of string there, one bit of string there, they're both tied on, and then you've completed your mask. You should be able to wear your mask, but what I would advise is don't wear your mask straight away. Because, because you've been using glue and the glue isn't dry yet. So I wouldn't put your mask on straight away because A, you don't want to be smelling that glue, it's toxic. Um, but also you don't want anything to be pulled off in the process of you drying it on. But there you are, you've got yourself a very quick 2D to 3D paper mask. And you can make all different sort of shapes and all different sorts of masks using those techniques. Okay, so does anybody have any questions at this point? Feel free to unmute yourself if you've got any, any questions or any comments. Someone's been very busy making their mask along. It's looking fantastic. Okay, so if there's no questions at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you some more examples of different cutting techniques. So this mask looks a little bit more like a line, and I've just feathered it around. You can also do something completely different. Here I used very different techniques, but I still had the basic structure. But I've cut out some more feathery things. And you can see I've just used a cereal box on this one to create my structure. And then once you get more confident, you can even start to make some things a little bit more 3D. So this is the start of a ram's head. And this I just was, Again, using the same things, starting from a base and then working my way up. Yeah. So has everybody um, managed to follow the workshop so far? Okay. Feel free to take yourself off microphone um, and you can ask me anything if you want to. Okay, I'll give you a little moment. Um, and in the meantime, I'm just going to show you something that we um, are going to be working on next week. So this week was all about something two dimensional. It's about paper and how you can cut paper in loads of different ways. And you can really get um, some exciting shapes forming out of paper. You should definitely check out the other workshops. I know online there's um, on the website there's puppetry workshops which are available and there's some paper folding and there's a couple of others as well um, and so you can really start to see what you can do with various materials that you have at home so something that we're going to be working on next week now this isn't the finished product i haven't quite finished it yet but it's just an example of what you can do again with paper so this one this mask here is made out of paper and cardboard but it's also 
rock solid. What I did is I made a paper mache out of cornstarch, which is just corn flour. Now, this isn't quite the finished one because what I want to do is perhaps explore something a bit, little bit three dimensional. Um, and that this is something that we might be working towards. Okay, well, thank you for joining us today. Um, again, this session will be live um, on the website tomorrow. There are other uh, workshops which are available and you can access those through our website and also um, check out our Instagram. We would absolutely love to see your little creations. So do send us some photos. I would love to see them um, and get experimenting with some paper. There's some really great techniques out there.